one of mountain biking's shining lights, but also a rider who has had some dark days in the sport. Neil Johansson knows all about the dangers of free riding. We all do it because we love it, because otherwise you would not be able to go through what we go through with injuries and like fear itself. Sometimes stuff is really scary and to be able to go through that you really need to have a passion for the sport and I've been having issues a lot with lower back pain uh, but as a mountain bike rider it's, it's not something unusual. You take a lot of beating, you put a lot on the line doing what we do but that's also what I love doing and I wouldn't want to do anything else. At just 19, Sweden's Emil Johansson has already podiumed in some of the biggest mountain biking events in the world. But he was ruled out for the whole season last year with a six congenital lumbar vertebrae anomaly in his back. At one point, it looked like his career would be taken from him before it ever truly started. I'm having a few things with my body that isn't ideal for riding bikes actually. Uh, so much going on, or there was a lot of stuff going on, which caused me to have bad discs. Uh, and discs heal by time. It just takes a really long time. Uh, for some people it takes a few years, for some people it never settle really the pain. And it set me back or off the scene for about the full season. The injury couldn't have come at a worse time. Emil burst onto the scene and set his marker down. In 2017, he clinched Fils Montpellier and became the Crankworx champion. He also became the youngest ever to win the FMB World Tour, ousting the seemingly immovable Nikolai Rogatkin en route. To win that is, it kind of haven't landed yet that that actually happened. I, I, I don't know if it ever will, because uh, it's something, I mean, it was just a dream of mine growing up to be just a part of it all, to compete against other ones and be as good as mm, the people I actually compete against now. Uh, most of them I'm, I looked up to for the past years since I was starting my teenage years, I've, I've been looking up to them and admiring them and want to be like them. I want to learn the same tricks as them, like develop and also be able to have this as, a, like to do mountain biking as a living. It's something I'm really lucky about, actually. Emil is very much a part of the mountain biking family competing with and often beating some of the guys he looked up to as a kid. We travel a lot together. We spend a lot of time together. We, yeah, we were basically living together for most parts of the season. So they're all really good friends and I really enjoy hanging out with every one of them. In a short time, Emil has already established himself as one of the best riders on tour. He's constantly dropping new tricks and, at the nines last year, landed six world firsts in one hour, including a flip whip to bar to tabletop and a flip triple bar to can-can. The jump was really big and I was feeling good on my bike, riding all season. E even though my back started hurting a bit, on that event, actually, I've, I managed to pull through it and pull a few uh, NBDs, like ne never been done tricks. Uh, some of them I'm really happy on and some of them I would like to do again. The young Swede is determined to keep pushing what is possible in the sport and become one of the greatest there has ever been. But his priority is getting himself back to full fitness. Competition-wise, I'm looking forward to having an off-season and hopefully getting my body to work properly again. Uh, also, 
getting off the disease I'm suffering from, hopefully. Uh, it's not 100% that's going to happen, but I'm, I'm working as good as I can to get rid of it, to be able to ride bulk bikes full time instead of spending most times being sick and at a gym. So that's, that's my goal right now, to be able to be healthy again and to be able to ride as much as I want to ride.